Back in the garage today. In the garage. Back in the garage. Back in the garage today. What's going on, guys? Back in the garage today. Getting ready to change the oil on my 2021 KTM 890 Adventure R. The process is going to be the same for the 790, 890, even Norton 901 models. Even though the bike only has about 3,300 miles on it, it's still due because the previous owner didn't put a whole lot of miles on it, but we've hit the year mark, so it's time for service. I'm gonna show you everything you need in order to do this, and then I'm gonna show you how to get the job done. So uh, let's get to it. So you're gonna need an eight millimeter and 13 millimeter socket, as well as a ratchet and or driver, and a torque wrench isn't a bad idea either. A pair of snap ring pliers, drain pan, Paper towels and nitro gloves are always a good idea. 2.8 liters of 10W50 oil. And finally, an oil filter. In my case, I'm using the High Flow HF650. I will link all this stuff down in the description below so you can find it. However, if you want to, you can use the original KTM oil filter. I'll put that part number up on the screen so you can check it out as well. All right, so with all your tools and supplies gathered, the first thing we need to do is remove the engine guard. And step one on it is to disconnect this little vent hose that's right inside of here. Simply just pull the hose off. Now we'll move on to the next step. So now we're gonna take our eight millimeter socket and we're going to remove this fastener, this fastener, this fastener, and this fastener. Next up, we're gonna come down here underneath the foot peg and you can see we have two eight millimeter bolts holding on the engine guard down here too. We're gonna to remove those. And with those fasteners removed, we should be able to pop it off of here. Now something to be aware of, in previous videos I've shown removing this screw, but there's a rubber grommet piece that sits up inside the tank here that should just pop right out. And the piece I'm talking about, you'll see it here on both sides. I'm talking about this piece right here. So we will have to be careful to align that back in the groove on the tank when we go to put this back on. But with the engine guard out of the way, now we can actually focus on changing the oil. All right, so it's always a good idea to do this with a slightly warm engine. Warm motor oil pours out a little bit better than uh, cold. And the bike needs to be over on the side stand. At least that's what's recommended. Obviously, I've got mine on the side stand right now. And I'm using a T-handle, but you can obviously continue to use your 8 millimeter socket. We are going to remove these two bolts down here, and that is going to allow us access to the oil filter. With those two bolts removed, there is an O-ring on the back of this uh, oil filter cover door. So just watch for that. You see it here on the back. We're just going to set this aside for right now. And then we want to grab our snap ring pliers, insert them in, and just makes it a little bit easier to pull out the oil filter. Also now is probably a good time to mention, always a good idea to crack the uh, oil filler cap here. That just allows a little bit of air pressure in and ought to help everything drain a little bit easier. So if we take a look here, we've got two 13 millimeter bolts. We're gonna pull both of these out. These are where our oil screens are located. Those are drain bolts, so make sure you've got your pan appropriately placed because oil's gonna come pouring out of there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let some of this drain out because if I pull it all the way out, we're gonna have quite a bit of flow. Just pull it out a little ways and let it start to drain some out and then we'll Get it all the way out here in a moment. Just get yourself a paper towel over to the side. We're gonna set this on there for right now. We're gonna crack the next one loose. So while that's still draining, we want to make sure we clean up the back side of this cap. Also, before we go to put it back on, we want to put a thin coat of oil around that O-ring just to help it seal. These here, uh, you can replace the O-rings on there if you want to. You can buy new ones if you want. I've found that reusing these quite a few times is just fine. But what you want to do is you want to clean them up. And in here, we've got little magnets that'll catch little pieces of, uh, of metal. We want to get those all cleaned up. I'm going to use a little bit of brake cleaner, which I didn't mention earlier. Off camera, as well as a rag or a paper towel, 
get this stuff all cleaned up and then we're gonna come back and start buttoning it back up and get some oil back in the crankcase so we can go riding. So this is what they look like all cleaned up. Couple of key things, like I mentioned earlier, check these magnets, get them all cleaned up. Very few metal shavings on there, got that off. And then check this wire mesh. If you've got holes or tears in it, you definitely wanna replace these. Uh, otherwise, if they're in good shape, just get them all cleaned up. And once again, the O-rings on here, we're gonna put a little thin coat of grease on, or not grease, but a little thin coat of oil on there before we go to put these back in here in a few moments. Okay, so next up, we are going to put our new oil filter in. It doesn't matter if you're using the high flow or the KTM one, there's gonna be a rubber gasket on the back. That's gonna go inside the engine. And then you'll kind of feel it just kind of pop into place. Now we're gonna take our oil filter cover. Obviously, like I said earlier, there's a little bit of oil on the o-ring on the back of it and i'm just going to get this started by hand so it doesn't fall down into the oil like it did on the first take and then we're going to tighten these down to just six newt meters do not over tighten them it's just aluminum you don't want to strip anything out there we go all right now with most everything drained out once again thin coat of oil on here we're going to get these put back into place. I'm just going to spin them on by hand. Do the same thing to the rear one. You'll kind of feel them like pop into place when you got them lined up right. And I'm just going to use my driver and just kind of run them in so they're snug. And then we're going to torque these down to 20 newt meters. There we go. So over here on the right hand side of the bike, obviously with the oil filler cap removed, I'm going to use this funnel and we are going to dump in 2.8 liters of oil. So this particular brand of oil has a sight glass sort, so to speak, on the side of it. So if you want for the last 800 milliliters you're going to put in, you could just go off the side, but I'll show you what I like to do instead. I just like using, it doesn't matter that it's a KTM one, I just like using one of these because it's got the measurements on the side and it takes all the guesswork out of it. So I've got 800 milliliters measured out there. We'll dump this in and we should be good on our level. And while we're done filling it up, just don't forget to put your oil filler cap back into place and obviously ensure the O-ring is on the back of it. All right, next up we're gonna put on our engine guard. So you wanna line up your rubber grommets on each side. Kind of felt that one pop into place. Okay, so off camera, I walked over to the other side, got it popped into place, and this is gonna kind of hold it in place for you as we get the fasteners on. So we're gonna move up to the front and get the front four bolts in next. With the front bolt centered, now we got to get the two back here in, and then we got the engine guard almost on. With all the bolts in place, the last step is to get the drain hose hooked back up on this little outlet. All right, so now we need to reset the service light. We'll do that by turning on the switch, and then we'll hit our set button. And we'll scroll down so settings are highlighted and then we're going to hold down on the up and down keys for about five seconds. And now we can set it at whatever we want to set it by hitting the set button. So I'm going to set mine. We're going to call it. Hmm, actually, we'll run it all the way up to the 9300 mile. We can run it up to 9000 miles or 12 months. I'm probably going to change it before then but let's just set it to whatever you feel comfortable setting it with. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how you change the oil on one of these KTM 790, 890, or Husky Norden 901s. A couple of things you're gonna wanna do once you get done, though. Start it up, make sure you don't have any leaks. I did that, I'm good. Second, you need to check the oil level. I did have to add about 100 milliliters to mine. The way you do that, the bike needs to be sitting upright. In my case, I put a rear wheel stand under it. You could have a buddy hold on to it, whatever. And then check the sight glass. If it's below the little circle line, add a little bit. If it's well above it, you might have to drain a little bit out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, considering that subscribe button, because if you like motorcycles well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about anything I did in today's video, 
Let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll also link some of the parts and tools and stuff I use down there that hopefully that helps you out too. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.